Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, let's talk about what are synonyms, antonyms, acronyms, and abbreviations. But before we begin the discussion, I would like to remind everybody that I am not a professional. So, I'm sorry if I commit mistakes in some pronunciations. And now, let's begin the discussion. First one, synonyms. According to Merriam-Webster, synonyms are two or more words or expressions of the same language that have the same or nearly the same meaning in some or all senses. Here are the examples of synonyms and their meanings. Number one, abundant, synonymous word for ample, meaning occurring in a large amount. Sa Tagalog, masagana. Next example, adamant, synonymous word for firm, meaning refusing to be persuaded. Sa Tagalog, matatag. Sana all matatag. Example number three, weird, synonymous word for bizarre, meaning strange behavior. So weird. Example number four, feeling blue, a synonymous word for sad, meaning to feel sad or depressed. Sa Tagalog, malungkot. Ang lungkot. So now let's go to the next example number five. Ecstasy, a synonymous word for elation, meaning great happiness. Sa Tagalog, masaya. Oh, e ba't yun nalang happy? E masaya din yun. Next, example number six. Adequate, a synonymous word for sufficient, meaning satisfactory or suitable. Sa Tagalog, sapat. Pero hindi ikaw. Okay, now let's move to number seven example, and that is eccentric, a synonymous word for peculiar, meaning a person of unconventional and slightly strange. Sa Tagalog, kakaiba. At hindi pa rin ikaw. Next, example number eight, and that is foe, a synonymous word for enemy, meaning an opponent. Madami ka nito. Pero huwag kang mag-alala. Dahil ang example number 9 is ally. Ally is a synonymous word for friend, meaning to unite or form a connection. If you have enemy, then you have friend. And the last but not the least example, the word aim. A synonymous word for goal, meaning have the attention of achieving something. And that's all for the synonyms. Now, let's move to the next topic, and this is all about antonyms. Now, what is antonyms? According to Merriam-Webster, antonyms is a word whose meaning is directly opposite to another word's meaning. Here are some examples of antonyms. Attack and defend, destroy and create, cautious and careless, praise and criticism, triumph and defeat, villain and hero, vacant and occupied, powerful and weak, upset and relaxed. And last but not the least, married and I'm single and we can be together. Char! And that's it for antonyms. So I will not elaborate more about antonyms. Just always remember that antonyms have meaning which is opposite to another word's meaning. Thank you for listening and God bless.